Good morning, it is Tuesday, December 8th, and we have an excellent day ahead of us. On Saturday, I got this one all glued up, so what I will be doing with it uh, much later today is carving a little bit of this protuberance um, away, and then I am going to do the first time, I'm just going to try to stipple this to where I can kind of mimic that texture on it. So haven't done it before, um, but I think it'll look cool. And then once that's done, I'll, I'll re-dye it because once you grind um, this off, it kind of goes white. And so unless the, the dye on this one, some of these, the dye goes a much further through. So we'll see just how far that dye goes in um, and be able to do that. Um, I also got another knife for stock in. This is a rocking Santoku. And this is a beautiful Serenity scale using here and a piece of gold box elder. Uh, just thought that was a nice combination. Um, super stoked about that one. And then we have a nice classic boning knife also for stock using uh, undyed redwood uh, burl. Um, so it's stabilized but not dyed to that nice brown and I use some copper pins with that one. So I'll get both of these down to hand sand um, because all of the customs are glued up uh, the handles are down to hand sanding, if not already hand sanded. I'll bring you over here. So this is a custom we'll finish up today. That's the Japanese boning knife. The Chinese cleaver is all hand sanded and ready for um, buffing. And we have one of the two pairing knives all done. We have a little touch up work to do. And then uh, Rhett's left handed bread knife is also ready for hand sanding. So got a lot of work done on Saturday. Uh, we stayed pretty late and, and got a lot of stuff done. So that is the plan for today. Finish up all the customs and get some more knives in stock. And then if I have any more time, then I will also be grinding on some other knives for stock. Daniel should be getting the last bit of his stuff uh, ready for heat treat for tomorrow. Um, the vast majority of it is for Christmas. So just waiting on him for the, the last heat treat of at least the Christmas season, if not the year. Um, we'll, we'll see about what else we need to get heat treated after Christmas at that point. We're not worried about that quite yet. So big day ahead. Um, it's getting down to crunch time where we just have to have lots of things finished up in a very short amount of time. So super stoked, uh, happy to be back in the shop and I will see everyone tomorrow. Good morning. It is Wednesday, December 9th. And yesterday I got two knives ready for hand sanding. This is another rocking Santoku. Um, and this has a beautiful serenity scale. My, my wife made this handle uh, material and put it on this one. And then we have uh, the boning knife also ready for hand sanding. So super stoked about those two. And then I also got two more knives ground, um, kind of a hybrid and then a Euro. And I'm gonna do acid washes on both of those today. Um, also very big today, I'm doing the last heat treat before Christmas. Uh, everyone got their stuff ready um, yesterday, so I'll be starting that uh, here in just a little while. I'll start the, the process of the first uh, equalization of the CPM, and then I'll start quenching all the high carbon that's there. Um, so that's really my day. Uh, I'll kind of be bouncing back and forth between doing finishes, um, and then getting handles on these two while I'm doing the heat treat and we'll see how all of that goes kind of all joined together. Usually I can do it pretty well where I set timers and I go over and do some heat treat stuff, set a timer while I'm in the shop that way I don't forget I have stuff in the oven. Um, it's happened, it's not pretty, those knives didn't make it. Uh, long story. Anyway, um, that's my day and hope everyone has a great one. Good morning, it is Thursday, December 10th, and as you can see, I talked a lot yesterday and I'm losing my voice yet again. Um, so what we got done yesterday, we got the boning knife completely hand sanded and buffed. We just have a little bit more buffing to do and we'll be ready to put an edge on it. So we'll get an edge on that one uh, basically in the next hour or so. Here you go, Cal. Um, and we got this rocking Santoku all done and you can see this beautiful Serenity scale polished up absolutely beautifully. Uh, it's got some glitter in it, it's got a little spice to it. I like it a lot. Um, 
Other things I will be doing today is I'll be getting a handle on this boning knife. I did a creative acid wash on it, um, just playing with acid a little bit more. Um, we will be taking these three handles from very rough and raw and getting those to hand sand as well so we can get those in stock in the next day or so. And we'll be doing a little work. We did the heat treat yesterday. We'll be doing a little bit of work on the vintage set. So that's the slicer. And here is the Belgian cleaver, uh, circa 1800. Um, this is still basically the original design. I didn't put the full size hole in it just because it's really hard to drill and I actually like the look of the smaller hole. Uh, might be less functional, but I like the look of it more. So we'll kind of play with that going forward. Uh, but we'll put very simple uh, looking uh, handles on it, uh, stabilized, either oak or pecan, something that looks like they would have put the that wood on back in the day. Um, so that's already a plate that's rather full, and we'll see what else comes through that we work on as well. Uh, so that's my day, working on all of those beauties. There we go. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It is Friday, December the 11th, and yesterday we had another excellent day. So Cal got uh, the handle on the vintage slicer. This is a piece of beautiful Tasmanian sassafras, nice and simple. And then we put a pair, a uh, set of rock maple scales on the Belgian cleaver, and I got the thicker boning knife, the, the, the depth, uh, I got a piece of olive wood on that for hand, its handle, so I'll, we'll be getting those three cleaned up today, um, and the hybrid, uh, excuse me, chef's knife, I got that one down to hand sanding, so this is black oak with spalted pecan. Um, super stoked about that one. And then the European chef's knife, I got a piece of uh, uh, box elder burrow, excuse me, um, and that one is also ready for, for hand sanding. So we'll hand sand some, get some ready for heat, tree, uh, for, for hand sanding. And I did some pre-laminations because I have four Hanasukis coming up. So I took a piece of gold box elder and got some blue on it. Green box elder and I put blue and purple on it. And then this one's really cool. This is that fiery pine cone. Uh, uh, and I put orange and red on it. So it'll look a little bit more like fire. Um, so more grind lines today, more handle work today, uh, trying to get some more stuff in stock. Everything we were working on yesterday is now in stock or has already been sold because that's how things happen. Um, so another good day. Uh, the plan is for everyone to stay late tonight and finish everything we can. Um, both Cal and I are going to be helping out Daniel a little bit today as well, just making sure he can do his deadlines more comfortably. Um, so yeah, looking forward to another great day. Thank you and have a great day. Good morning, it is Saturday, December 12th, and we've had another excellent couple days. So I have this one now ready for stock. This is our first brass wash that we've done. Um, and it's got a cool uh, black oak with spalted pecan handle. Uh, got it hand sanded and the edge on it yesterday, so it's ready to go into stock. And then we have a little Euro Chef as well. Um, also with the brass wash and they both have the faux acid etched uh, hormones and you can see that one has a nice piece of uh, blue uh, redwood burl on it. Um, so both of those will be in stock later today. I also got two Hanasukis glued up. Um, this one with gold box elder uh, that has a blue liner and then this one has a giraffe bone bolster that has a blue liner and then the fiery uh, pine cone that has the red and the orange liner. So I'll get these up to hand sanding today. And I'm also getting the other two Hanasukis. This one will have that other piece of the fiery uh, pine cone and, uh, for the pommel. And this one will have the other piece of the gold box elder for its pommel. And then I'll build the rest of the handles today and get those glued up. Um, and while I'm shaping these two, I also will be finishing this one. So I've got it preliminarily shaped. Uh, it's looking good. Um, kind of still choosing a direction uh, to go with, with this one. I know I'm going to round all of this off more, um, but it's to the point where it's comfortable. 
Um, so I'm pleased with it already, and then it's just going to get more refined down and um, a little bit skinnier, a little bit more ovular, um, and just evened up some. Uh, so my other thought for today is uh, just giving you a little tour of what we have in stock. So it's changed a lot recently. Um, new in stock, this one's been in a little bit. Um, some of these have been in for a tad. Uh, but both of those are new. This is new in the last month. Uh, we've got a bread knife, nice big slicer. The Passport series has been here. Um, this one's new in the last month, as is this beautiful one. Um, and we have uh, Cow's Bowie next to Yake's uh, Yanagiba that is very large and gorgeous. Um, and then some other stuff you'll recognize. Uh, You'll recognize the styles and the shapes, but some new stuff in stock. We're also now carrying fixed blades in both Buck and in Benchmade. So we've got a few uh, fixed blades in. Uh, there are more on the way. Just one of those things, just adding to, to what we sell, just uh, as we talk more and more with customers of, hey, are you interested in fixed blades? We've already sold a couple of them, so that says yes to me um, sorry I just dropped something on my foot um, and so basically that's my day um, I'll be going through with that and getting handles on have a great day